Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Erit Academy. So one of the important announcement is that we have started posting current affairs question, the MCQ question on our Telegram channel. So you can see a screenshot from our Telegram channel. So why this initiative has been started? Because uh, most of you would be not getting time to go through the newspaper. So whatever we are finding relevant, those questions we are posting on our Telegram channel. So do join our Telegram channel, Erit Academy and uh, uh, attempt these questions so that you can get benefits from it okay next we have another announcement is that today we are having a session of mr saurabh kumar he is an ifs officer of 2018 batch and saurabh sir would be there today with us on our platform and uh, he would be taking a session with respect to upcoming prelims exam and he is also very popular author of his popular author of a popular book that is prelims simplified this book aims to provide solution to aspirants everyday queries so that what to read how to read and in what depth you should read so basically today's session will be focusing upon giving you certain tips followed by the doubt session so if you have any doubt do share it at my telegram id that is tele heman t-e-l-e-h-i-m-a-n okay and uh, today we have the session at 8, 8 pm you will get the link to join this session at our telegram channel and uh, web, web link to join the session will be shared in the group in the channel by 7 pm okay so stay tuned to this for more updates okay now let's take the discussion and question for the day so the question of the day is which one of the following results due to edge effect between cold and warm current so here basically first we should have clarity over edge effect then definitely if we would have read about the cold and warm ocean currents then we can mark the answer without knowing the edge effect also but both the clarity should be there so it is a conceptual concept related question where we need to have conceptual clarity over edge effect and we need to have a conceptual clarity related to when cold, cold and warm ocean currents meet then what will happen okay so related to this we will discuss certain key terms so the first key term which we have to discuss is ecotone then we will discuss about ecoline then edge effect and edge species so these are the four keywords these are important ecological key terms or key terms related to ecology which we must know okay now let's see one by one So ecotone, ecotone is basically an area. So remember it, it is an area that is basically a transitional boundary between two ecosystems. So as you can see through a Venn diagram, we have explained that if there is a, a, a one ecosystem, which is a grassland and another ecosystem, which is a forest. So transition boundary of both, or you can say overlapping boundary between the two ecosystem is known as the ecotone. And ecotone can be like this. You can understand with this image. So green areas are for forest and the yellow areas are grassland. So this zone between them or the transition between them is known as ecotone zone or ecotone. So remember it as ecotone. So ecotone is basically a zone of junction like train junction we discussed. So you know that ATRC uh, near Bhopal is a junction. So like that in every area we have junctions where the trains multiple trains will cross each other of from of multiple routes jhansi is junction so train which is coming from north india that is delhi to southern part of india or going to eastern part of india they are going via jhansi so jhansi is a junction so ecotone is a zone of junction or a transition area between two biomes or two ecosystems so ecotone is a zone where two communities meet and integrate so you can here you can see that the species they will overlap in ecotone so this transition zone between the land zone and aquatic zone will have more number of species okay so the number of species are increasing or they will increase in ecotone so uh, this transition zone will have the species from uh, who habitat on land zone also and whose habitat is there in aquatic area also or in uh, aquatic ecosystem as well so they will overlap so the number of species will increase so this ecotone a good example can be mangrove forest where the terrestrial and marine ecosystem 
are meeting or uh, mangrove forest you can understand is as a ecotone basically it is a transition zone between the terrestrial and marine ecosystem another example can be grassland and desert grassland between desert and forest ecosystem so here you can see that uh, deciduous forest species are there and grassland species are there okay so grassland and forest ecotone will be something uh, in between okay so grassland is a ecotone himalayas between indian and tibetan ecosystem estuaries between salt water and fresh water so rivers will uh, have fresh water ecosystem and the oceans will have salt water ecosystem in between estuaries will have mix of both or you can understand it with dry lands and wet ecosystem in between we will have marshy lands okay so these uh, ecotones they are very narrow like between grassland and forest or sometime it can be wide between forest and desert it will be very wide so it is a transitional area and it is a zone of tension also junction we have discussed it is a zone of junction because too many species are meeting at each other or meeting with each other and even the land boundaries or the water boundaries so there is a transition and junction is there meeting point is there okay it is also known as zone of tension because it has conditions intermediate to adjacent ecosystem okay so it will it it will contain some organisms which in which are entirely different from that of adjoining communities as well so the ecotone tone will have communities from let's say grassland also and forest also but in between there will be other, uh, other organisms also who are uh, who who can adapt to this ecosystem and maybe they will be not uh, available in grassland or forest but they are available here so that's why it is a zone of tension because so many species are there and they are fighting for the resources or they are competing for the resources so that way you can remember so this is about eco tone let's understand about eco line so eco line is a gradual change in abiotic factors basically altitude temperature salinity so you remember in geography we read whenever temperature variation is there so that gradual change of uh, that line where we can draw a gradual change in temperature is known as thermocline salinity where salinity is changing in oceans so we'll call it halocline so eco cline is a gradual change of abiotic factors so eco line or ecotone and ecotone are two transition zones in, in an ecosystem but eco line is described as the physical transition zone okay and basically it is a gradient or change along which environment factors the abiotic components are changing be it water vapor oxygen chemical components so where physical and chemical environment of one or two physical physiochemical factors is changing so ecotone is basically described as the transition zone between two biomes uh, where we are discussing with respect to community so it, the ecotone we discussed that it was a area however ecoline is a zone of gradual but continuous change from one ecosystem to other and what is changing there environmental gradients that is abiotic factors altitude temperature salinity depth these are changing okay so we can understand it with the help of this image so let's say in, with respect to ocean so we have a halocline so halocline is what a variety of ecocline so ecocline we discussed that uh, the uh, environmental gradients temperature salinity or uh, uh, the water vapor everything is changing so like this halocline can be as, is a zone where salinity is in transition okay so here above halocline you will see high oxygen is there but below halocline no oxygen is there so what has changed a variant a chemical composition has changed okay above halocline normal salt is there but during halocline uh, you can see that uh, the uh, sky blue area the salt composition is increasing so it is a zone of transition okay but below halocline what you, what will happen there is high salt so what is ecocline ecocline is a zone of transition basically described as a physical transition zone where the physiochemical environmental factors are changing so hope it is clear ecocline is a zone of transition where the environmental or the abiotic components are changing ecotone was also a zone of transition where which is with respect to area where 
community we are finding more community so this is about echo client and echo tone we have discussed next we will discuss about edge effect edge effects are so again we are we have taken the image which we have discussed earlier so in echo tone we have seen that there is it echo tone is basically a, a area where transition is happening it is also known as transition zone okay so number of species are increasing so in ecology edge effects are or what is edge effect it is called as the changes in population or community structure that occur at the boundary of two or more habitats so here we have seen land zone and aquatic zone they are overlapping or uh, it is the transition zone where bound uh, where it is bounded by land zone on one side and aquatic zone on the other side so edge effect effect refers to changes in population or community structure that are occurring at the boundary of two habitats sometimes the number of species and the population density of some species in this area and this area we call it as ecotone remember so sometimes the number of species and the population density of some of the species in this ecotone is much greater than either community and this is happening because of the favorable conditions and the migration from of the communities from land zone migration of communities from aquatic zone that's why it is called as edge effect because of the edges because they are sharing their boundaries edges and that edge is leading to have that uh, or is creating that effect where the organisms the uh, species and the population density is increasing so this is called as the edge effect because of the edge because of the boundaries of land zone and aquatic zone this effect is being created where the community or the number of species are increasing so this is called as edge effect and the organisms which occur primarily or most abundant uh, abundantly so they are abundant in nature they are more in number they are more in this zone are known as the edge species so only those species which are primarily found in this zone or they are found in abundance they are called as edge species okay if we have to understand it with respect to terrestrial ecosystem so the edge effect is especially applicable to birds because birds will be there on the land also and they will be there in the aquatic zone also so uh, the density of the birds is greater in ecotone between forest and desert so there also uh, the birds will be there or uh, if you see a wetland wetland is a ecotone between the land and the uh, oceans or sea or rivers so there also you will find more birds so birds are will be our edge species okay so this image which we have kept is to highlight that on one side you are, see, you are seeing uh, woodland on the other hand you are seeing uh, woodland so on the right hand side and left hand side you are seeing woodlands but in between in between there is open corridor let's say uh, because of urbanization or developmental activity we have built a road so edge effect has increased so edge effect is uh, has been negatively affected has got negatively affected because of this developmental projects so this way you should understand that how development is affecting edge effect so edge effect in a negative way it has been uh, affected by the uh, human or anthropogenic activities now let's have a look at our question again so we started with this question the question was which one of the following results due to the edge effect between the cold and warm ocean current so if you will observe it closely then what upsc is going they are digging deeper into it earlier they would have asked only what is cold uh, what is the impact of uh, when cold ocean current and warm ocean currents or the what as they meet what will happen so this is one concept otherwise they would have asked uh, from ecology what is edge effect now they are uh, asking the impact or the result of edge effect between cold and warm ocean current so this is a clue to us that upsc is going in depth and they are checking our conceptual clarity and this was also asked by upsc in a very recent exam which was conducted somewhere in february and we have to prepare ourselves on these lines so let's understand the options in detail so the first option is development of dense phytoplanktons rich in diatoms will happen so what happens we know that whenever cold and warm ocean currents they meet with each other they create the world's best fishing grounds why that will happen because of cold currents upwelling will happen nutrients will come to the surface and when nutrients will come to the surface 
let's say algae or uh, other uh, phytoplankton their growth will happen then zooplankton will come and they will graze on the phytoplankton uh, zooplankton will be eaten by the fishes and when for to eat that when fishes will come to the surface then what will happen then uh, uh, humans will catch them so that's why they it becomes world's best fishing ground also oxygen when uh, warm ocean current and the cold ocean currents are interacting oxygen temperature salinity everything will change so the overall environment or that ecotone that transition boundary where the cold ocean current and warm ocean currents are meeting that ecotone will have a kind of edge effect okay hope you understood uh, you understood the concept now let's read the second option decrease in fish population so even if you don't know about edge effect if you know that what happens when cold and warm ocean current will meet immediately you can remove this option decrease in mesial population in area remove it decrease in primary productivity of area remove it so they are talking about decrease we know from edge effect that it is a kind of positive thing that where, uh, where the uh, community is increasing the plant or the uh, our animals or microbes the their their number is increasing uh, uh, increases because of edge effect because of the transition so the answer is so yes first we have discussed about ecotone we have discussed about ecoline ecocline edge effect edge species and the answer is development of dense phytoplankton rich in diatoms what is diatom diatom refers to any member of large group comprising like it is a, a group of algae so phytoplankton when we read about phytoplankton it includes microscopic marine algae and it has so many categories it uh, it includes the chlorophyll and basically they require chlorophyll and sunlight so it includes uh, cyanobacteria diatom green algae so many varieties will be there okay now we have world's fishing banks so grand bank is there in atlantic ocean confluence of ocean currents so gulf stream and labrador current so gulf stream is what gulf stream is a warm ocean current and labrador current is a cold ocean currents and they are creating uh, an enabling environment or you can say that they are creating ecotone and because because of that ecotone edge effect will be there and that's why they become world's best fishing ground fishing banks right so that's uh, like that we have so many world fishing banks like agulas bank is there togas bank is there reed bank is there petro bank is there in indian ocean where south equatorial warm current and west australian cold currents are meeting so this way you can also have this understanding that when these two specific you basically can ask this as well that okay this uh, these world fishing banks they are located on the confluence of which two ocean currents so you can have a look at this uh table and you can prepare on these lines as well okay like kuroshi and oyashio cold current are meeting kuroshi is a warm current oyashio is a cold current they are uh, when they are meeting so what kind of ecotone is created like a transition zone will be created and that transition zone is known as the reed bank that is in south china sea pacific ocean so this is how you should prepare you should have conceptual clarity and the table which is there in front of us it is a factual information so understand it in depth so that you don't do any mistake in the examination hall and like this you should have clarity over all the concepts the not only the concepts and the factual information learn the application aspect of it because upsc is going and digging deeper into it and they are asking applied aspect of everything okay so all the best hope you had nice learning and uh, hope you enjoyed the discussion so this was the last discussion of uh, this week we will meet we will meet with another video on monday till then enjoy well revise very well and be in very good frame of mind don't have any kind of tension just absorb revise as much as you can that is the best way and remain positive take care bye bye